Hi everyone, Happy New Year. My name is Diane, I'm doing MSIT here at CMU Africa and I'm the new Communications Minister. I hope you had an amazing year 2023. Here at CMU Africa we had different activities and amazing events in 2023 and today we'll be taking you through downsides from the memorable activity that took place. But before I start, please allow me to introduce my fellow co-hosting that joined me today. The gentleman right next to me, his name is Brian. Hi Brian, would you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi Diane, uh, thank you for having me. I'm very excited to be part of this uh, great event. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a student here at CMU Africa, doing MSEAI, and I'm from Uganda. And yeah, thank you for having me. Thank you very much for accepting my invitation. And it's not that, we're also joined by Samali, and he's, he's going, she's going to tell us a little bit about herself too. Hi Diane. I am also from Uganda and I am part of the MSIT class of 2025 and it's amazing to be here. Thank you very much, Samali. Would you please take us through some of the memorable activity that took place from January to May? Thank you. So while at the start of the year, a lot of us were only prospective students waiting for our application letters, there was a lot going on at CNU Africa and there is a lot that we hope to be a part of this year. To start in January, we had a group of students go to Pittsburgh as part of the Global Student Exchange Program. This gave them a chance to experience the new culture in America, to meet new people and make new connections and expand on their skills and knowledge base. Next, the Career Services Office organized an internship fair where students got to know about a variety of available internship programs and also meet and connect with industry professionals. We had Francophone Week where we got to celebrate our Francophone communities by taking part in various culture exchange activities. This was led by the French Club. In addition, CMU Africa has over 20 nationalities represented on campus. To celebrate this diversity, we had an inaugural edition of the Country Night Soiree. During this event, 10 countries were represented through cuisine and presentations. Next up, we hosted our annual career fair where final year students from the class of 2023 got to interact with industry professionals as they prepare for life after graduation. A group of our students also got a chance to travel to the Carnegie Mellon University campus in Pittsburgh for CME Africa Week. During this week, they shared their cutting edge research with the broader CME community and also took part in cultural exchange activities. We celebrated the Multicultural Day here at CME Africa. The Multicultural Day is an annual event where we get a chance to come together as a community to learn, to celebrate, and to provide a better understanding of the diverse cultures represented here. Finally, the academic journey for the class of 2023 came to an end as they graduated from CMU Africa. It was a memorable event filled with joy and reflection on their journey here. So from what I've shared, what stood out for you, Brian? <clears throat> Thank you, Samali, for sharing. So much has been really around when most of these events transpired here at CMU Africa. But this year, I'm really looking forward to the multicultural event because it's, a, it's an aggregation of various um, cultures from all over Africa and we get to engage in various activities. I'm really looking forward to the, um, the cuisine because I know it's like a big thing that happened during that day. So I'm really excited to try the various cuisines from around around Africa and also you know, share some of the local cuisines we have from Uganda with the broader semi community. So yeah, thank you. Nice, what about you Dan? Thank you very much Samali. To me that means that CMU is not all about providing academic skill related but also providing space to student inclusivity and showcase and celebrate to their cultural through different activities at, at the campus. Thank you very much. And from there, I would like Brian to take us through some of the remarkable activity that took place uh, during the month of June up to September. You're welcome, Brian. Thank you, Diane. <clears throat> so to ensure a seamless transition into the CMU African community, the administration organized a Tartan Tuesday sessions. These were led by faculty, students, and the administration. And this gave a chance to you know, the incoming students to know what they would expect coming to CMU and also what's expected of them during their journey here at CMU. During the summer, students were able to gain real-life experience through the various internships, including corporate and internships from various startup companies here in Rwanda. These internships helped the students shape their career path by giving them hands-on skills and also 
exploring the opportunities presented to them along the way. So finally, CMU Africa officially welcomed the class of 2025 in July. So the students went through amazing programs and activities that were able to cultivate diversity, inclusion, and various engaging sessions that will help them to transition and have their make their stay here at CMU very comfortable. So uh, furthermore, CMU partnered with the World Vision Rwanda and Scilab to provide a second summer of ICT teachers training. From this training, CMU was able to train 27 teachers from the Mahama refugee camp. This action, this action was an initiative by CMU Africa to support African pipeline development and inclusion in the digital space. Also, we had um, a couple of high-profile dignitaries that visited the campus. For example, we had Dr. Rick Stamper, the provost and the vice president of the academics fair from the Rose Holman Institute of Technology. His visit here at campus opened doors for collaboration between CMU and the Rose Holman Institute of Technology. We also hosted Dr. Harriet Nimhard, the president of the Harvey Mudd College here at campus. This visit provided an opportunity for the CMU community to connect to the global opportunities and also foster prospective uh, partnerships. So, um, Diane, from all these um, high-profile dignitaries that uh, visited our campus uh, last year, what do you make of all this? Thank you very much, Brian. That's a very good question because to me, having high-profile people at campus, that means we get an opportunity to engage with them, share ideas, and get to know what it looks like outside there in mm -hmm. tech industry. Mm -hmm. And we get also to share our ideas on what we think should be done better. And that is actually an opportunity to see Africa students as it is. It directs us to know exactly what, like, like what is awaiting for us outside there in tech. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I think that's very, that's very, yeah, that's true. So, Sama, coming from Uganda and coming into Rwanda for the very first time, how did their orientation program help you uh, transition or make you stay comfortable here uh, in Rwanda? It was definitely challenging coming from home and moving to a new country and also starting my master's program. Mm -hmm. But the orientation program helped prepare us, one, as graduate students, through the programming projects and the classes on research and language, just for us to know what is going to be expected of us as students in CMU. And I don't know if Uganda counts as international, but as an international student, <laughs> um, I was quite homesick, but I also got to make so many new friends in the, within that month that are still with me to this day. So that was amazing. Ah, that's very impressive. So do you feel like right now you have finally settled in uh into the CMU community? Yes, I definitely have. Ah, interesting. Yeah. Thank you. So I, I feel also the orientation program gave me a chance to connect with new people and also, you know, make friendships and, you know, meet some of the friends, uh, some of them are still with, up to me, still with me up to now and that really helped me a lot during this new term here in Kigali. So yeah, thank you. So furthermore, um, at CMU Africa hosted um, a student from the CMU Pittsburgh campus. We had a graduate student from the IPEX lab who shared research projects and inspired CMU African students to work collaboratively. We also had students from the CMU uh, Pittsburgh Flying Club who took us through you know, the basics of flying. Uh, Diane, would you consider being a pilot? Thank you very much, Brian, for the question. Mm -hmm. It's actually, to me, it's not about becoming a flying person, mm -hmm. but seeing students from Pittsburgh flying to CMU Africa mm -hmm. and seeing students from CMU Africa flying mm -hmm. to Pittsburgh, mm -hmm. it shows the strong connection between the two campuses, which is a good thing to refer to. How about you, Summer? Do you want to be a pilot? No, Brian, not in this lifetime, but it was definitely nice to know that a fellow student is able to fly a charter plane from Pittsburgh to New York. That was amazing. Really? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty amazing. So also, the year 2023 had multiple conferences, including the Deep Learning Endeavor Conference in Accra, Ghana. This annual conference brought together African and AI communities for a week of learning, idea exchange, and debate around the art of machine learning. Another conference was the research project by the IEEE that brought together CMU African students, alumni, and faculty that took place in Kenya. This conference focused on embedded systems, industry and academic panels, workshop, and emerging technologies to advance technology here in Africa. We also had amazing club activities from the various clubs 
here at campus, which included a workshop organized by the IoT Club. This workshop was an opportunity for the students to kickstart their journey in IoT and also gain practical skills. Finally, we had students, and alumni, and faculty participate in the West African Conference on Digital Infrastructure and Cybersecurity, which was held in Kotu, Benin. We also had Solid Mind Services organize an open house event. At this event, we learned about the various services that are offered by Solid Minds to the CMU African community. We also had an opportunity to participate in trauma and stress release events during these exercises. The event was really about bringing services closer to the students. We also had an amazing breast cancer awareness event where we got to learn more about breast cancer, its causes and effects, and how to self-check regularly to stay free away from breast cancer. So, uh, Sama, did you attend the open house event that was organized by Solid Minds? I did, and I loved it. I was a part of the trauma release exercises. I mm -hmm. feel like that helped me get rid of like, the tension from the semester. Mm -hmm. And it was also nice talking to our therapists one-on-one -on -one about some of the trouble we have as students. Mm -hmm. And I still have a lot of the posters that they shared hanging in the wall in my room. Yeah, true. Thank you. Amazing. I think, I think uh, with all the... I mean, CMU can sometimes become intensive, so I think having a place to relieve the stress and also some, having someone to talk to is really very helpful. Over to you, Diane. I, I know you were one of the organizers of the Breast Cancer Awareness event, so how, how was it? That's correct. I had a chance to be part of the team that organized Breast Cancer Awareness program even here at CMU Africa, mm -hmm. and I can call it a success because we then had a chance to talk more about breast cancer. It, how it attacks, the causes and the effects. We also had uh, a whole day program where we got the students all together to educate them all about breast cancer. And it was all amazing because we learned a lot from there. Thank you, Brian. Generally, yeah, the event was a success. I was able to attend the event and you know, I, I got to hear amazing stories about how people are battling cancer and also get to hear a few success stories you know, from the audience. So yeah, it was truly inspirational. Thank you, dear. Thank you very much, Ben, for sharing. That was amazing. From okay. there, I'll be taking you through all the remarkable activities and events that took place from the month of October to December. We had students from Humanoid Robotics class participating in in-class competition. The objective of this competition was to build ever an adult human robotic head capable of mimicking facial expression, human movement, and speech capabilities. The team that won took a trip to Texas to represent CMU Africa in robotic conference. Next up, Kigali MongoDB hosted an amazing event at CMU Africa. This event was a comprehensive hands-on skills focused on MongoDB data aggregation. Moving forward, CMU Africa students participated in No Skin Africa Week. This week had different events that gathered top investors, startups, and industry players. Additionally, as a CMU Africa community, we participated in Giving CMU Day 2023. This was an event that brought students, staff, and administration together to raise funds for the ARTRIPLE E program, which supports students with partial scholarship. We also had the hotly contested Good and Club election to select the new student leaders. On the top of that, we had a swelling in ceremony in December, which ushered the new guild council in the committee and we look forward to the exciting ideas and events from this new student leadership last but not least we had an end of semester trip which brought all students together to unwind have fun in different games and call it a semester ryan can i ask you what you've had from what i said and what excites you more in 2024 yeah, so definitely the end of semester trip was exciting because, uh, I mean, I don't have to swim, so during the end of semester trip, you know, I, I got to try out, I got to learn, not to learn, but, you know, try out swimming much as I was more on the shallow end, but yeah, it was a, it was a nice experience. And also, um, you know, just getting to visit the outskirts of Kigali, you know, for most of the time, we're really here at the center of uh, Kigali, but, you know, getting a chance to visit the, the countryside and, you know, just the lake and everything, yeah, it was really memorable. And, yeah. There was this game where you know we had to fill, to fill a bottle of water with a cloth. Yeah, yeah. that was, <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, Thank you so much for sharing. Sama, do something. Do you have something for us? 
Yes, so from what happened this year, I know I'm thinking too forward, but I look forward to my graduation. <laughs> but since we mentioned 2024, I'm also really excited for my new friends in second year that are going to be graduating this May, and I look forward to celebrating with them. All right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the activity that we took you through and looking forward to even telling you more that is going to happen in the year of 2024. Uh, you didn't tell us your exciting activities. You didn't tell us the highlight of the year. What, what did you find exciting? Uh, to me, I can say that all of the activities we talked about were no, amazing. You have to pick one. <laughs> However, I'm looking forward to flying to Samuel Pittsburgh or seeing my friends flying to Samuel Pittsburgh because to me that sounds more interesting as you move to a different country, a completely different culture, mm -hmm. and you get to spend a semester there, you learn a lot, food, weather and everything. So I'm really looking forward to that. And also the high profile people that visit Semi Africa. Mm -hmm. I learn a lot from them because then they have been somewhere that I've never been before and we share, we engage, we like like we get a chance to listen to them and that's really amazing. Yeah, true. Definitely amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you everyone for watching. We really hope you enjoyed all the amazing activities that CMU Africa has been up to in the last year. And we hope you stay tuned for our next up events that will be happening in 2024. To do that, please stay tuned by subscribing to our YouTube channel and all our social media accounts. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.